Hello, hello, guys. How are you today? Let's wait for the others, okay? Please. Okay, teacher. Thank hello. you. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm be fine, teacher. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Teacher, no, porque alguien que quiere decirle hola. Hola, hola, teacher. Hola, nos vemos, nos vemos, quiero ver el jueves, ¿verdad? O el miércoles. En el miércoles, ¿verdad? Sí. Todavía no, no me acostumbro, son ocho salones los que tengo. Mira, pero es bien portadito. Vaya bien portado. Vaya es bien trabajador. Vaya, señor. Llévemelo cortito. Y los sábados me ve al grandote. Ah, sí, ya, 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 ¿verdad? Salud. Yarod, al revés el nombre. Ajá, y está Fernanda también. Con ella no sé qué días tiene. No, ¿y no. ella qué, qué grado está? Ella está en octavo. ¿Y en qué octavo? ¿La, ¿La manda los sábados? Sí, también llega los sábados. En la mañana, este, en la mañana. ¿Qué octavo es ella? ¿Qué está, Raquita? ¿En el A o en el B? En el A. Ah, entonces yo tengo el B. En la mañana y en la tarde tengo a su niño grande. Ah, en la mañana. Ajá, tengo el, el, el B. Ah, pues igual como usted está en... Ah, no, no, ¿verdad? No está porque es de la, ¿verdad? Ajá, no, no creo que no. Creo Pero que... sí, ah, tiene bien. niños bien educaditos, la verdad. Bueno, gracias, qué bueno. <risa> Mire, me dice... Usted, usted este le da clases a mi mamá. No, yo no, le me he confundido. Le, sí me dice. Sí, sí, ah, sí, sí, ya sé quién es. Le. Sí, así han estado aquí viniendo a, a, a metidiar cuando ella está, es mi señor, es mi señor, es mi pinche, te está dando clases. Mire cómo es el mundo de pequeño, ¿verdad? Es pequeño, ¿verdad, tita? Bien pequeño el mundo, la verdad. Pero es un gusto, la verdad. A los cuatro nos está enseñando. ¿Cuatro? Porque me imagino que usted sí le es, es la, la de octavo, si no es la teacher en la semana. Fíjese que entre semana tengo de tercero a sexto y ah, en ah, sábados tengo octavo y primer año en la tarde. Ah, bueno. bueno. <ríe> sí, Estoy que hizo corrida. Ya vi, qué barbaridad. <ríe> 
mucha corrida, pero ahora estamos, gracias a Dios, y sí, la verdad que tiene unos niños bien lindos. Bueno, muchas gracias. Buen trabajo. Ok, Norita, Graciela, José Mario, Edith. Hello, guys, how are you today? It's Monday, right? Yes. Hello. <laughs> I'm great today. Excellent. Guys, when is your birthday? My birthday is in July, in July 29. Va, vamos a ver entonces, sería... My birthday is on, porque cuando es una, especi una fecha específica utilizamos on. On July 29th. Así. Ok, my birthday is on July 29th. 29th. Al final es la, como son ordinales, es la TH. Night. 29th. Okay. Night. Uh -huh. okay. Perfecto, thank you. Nora, what about you? When is your birthday? It's almost the same with Sylvia. Excellent. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's on July um, 23rd. Hey, casi cerca. Excellent. Thank you. What about you, Diego? When is your birthday? Uh, my, my birthday is on September 29th. 29th. Excellent. My brother is um, on September 30th. 30th? Yes. <laughs> really close. Yeah. What about you? Let's see, Graciela. When is your birthday? Uh, my birthday is in November 20th. On November 20th. 20th, okay? Excellent. What about you, Edith? When is your birthday? My birthday is on March 7th. Woo. Next month. Yes. Next Excellent. month. Thank you, Marcelo. My birthday is uh, June 15th. On June 15th. Yes. Okay, my birthday is on June 13th. Oh, so close. <laughs> Today, yes. What about you, Alejandro? Hi, my birthday, my birthday is on October 6th. October 6th. Excellent. Thank you. Let's see, Norberto. When is your birthday? Hi, teacher. Good night. Uh, my birthday is on August 5th. August 5th. Excellent. On vacation, right? On August vacations, yes. excellent. Carlitos? No. Okay, guys. <clears throat> what did we study uh, la, the last class? ¿Qué estudiamos la semana pasada, la última clase? Last class teacher is uh, mm -hmm. uh, about the uh, simple past. Uh, simple. Uh -huh. simple past, uh huh. Uh, present perfect. And the present perfect, yes. Uh huh. Let's see. Diego, when do we use simple uh, past? Uh, we use simple past when we have, well, well. When we want to talk about an action mm -hmm. we did in the past and we are still doing it in the present? No. No, that's the present perfect, Diego. 
Oh, sorry, and what did mm -hmm. you say? The simple past. Uh, simple past, mm -hmm. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> to, to describe actions, uh, uh, the actions uh, we did in the past. Uh -huh. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, that finished or let's say yeah, uh, that, that actions not are continue, finished. Huh? Not anymore. Excellent, Diego. And what about the present con the present con the present perfect? Let's see. Mario Reyes. Hello, teacher. Hello. Excuse me, can you repeat the, the question, please? Yes, of course. Jose Mario and Mario Reyes el mismo. No, eso no. No, it's different. ¿Cuál es el marito que venía? Quiero a. Ah. No, pero usted se conecta seguido, sí, no. Uh, yes. No, no, pues, estoy despista. Ok. Uh, tell me, when do we use the present perfect? Uh, when the action uh, starts in the past mm -hmm. and continue in the, in the present. Excellent. Ok, thank you. Um, okay. Let's see, uh, Marcelo, tell me the structure of the present perfect. Um, bueno, o sea, la estructura como tal sí no me recuerdo, pero sí sé que uh, es el have subject um, el past. Simple past, no, sorry, uh, past participle mm -hmm. and complement. Excellent, okay. Subject plus has or how plus okay. past participle plus complement. Excellent, mm -hmm. Marcelo, thank you, okay. What about the simple past, Norita? Uh, about the, the structures, uh -huh. uh, okay. Well, it's um, subject, mm -hmm. verb in past, mm -hmm. and complement. And complement, excellent, okay. Subject, verb in past, and Complement. Complement. Uh -huh. Remember that we have irregular and regular verbs, okay? Irregular verbs, we just add ed at the verb or d, dependiendo, ¿verdad? And irregulars, esos son los que cambian, ¿verdad? For example, go, went, by, bought, and others, right? <clears throat> Okay, now guys, let's do something, okay. For example, guys, um, how can we use, or in which situations can we use a present perfect in a conversation? Let's, let's think about it. Imagine that we are with our friends and we want to talk up, uh, but we need to use this, the present perfect. How can we use it? Teacher, can you repeat the question? Please? Okay. Imagine that we are, you are, okay, let's do something. Vamos a hacer algo, algo. Okay. Quiero ver cuando son. Quienes no me hacen el favor de levantarme la manita o ponerme un emoji, ¿quiénes no pueden participar hablando ahorita? Norberto, ¿y quién más? Norberto, Carlos, Evelyn, José Mario, no la bajen, por favor. Cuatro son, ¿verdad? Ok. Entonces, los que sí pueden. 
que serían Silvita, Nora, Diego, Suyapa, Alejandro, Graciela. No me bajen la mano. Entonces lo voy a poner en pareja. Y lo que vamos a hacer es, ok, you have to create a conversation, ok, a real conversation. Hey, for example, hey, hello, Nora, how are you? How are you today? I'm great, ok. A daily, a daily conversation, ok. But you have to include the simple past and the present perfect. How? For example, hey, Nora, you know, I want to try sushi. Have you, have you, have, have you ever eaten sushi? Uh -huh. Así, de esa forma quiero que hablen, ok? Utilizando simple past and present. Perfect, ok. Vamos a ver, voy a hacer los grupitos. Ahí yo los regreso, ok? Quiero ver. No quiero ver el impulso que no quiero. A Evelyn la metí en el grupo, pero sin querer, no sé cómo removerla de ahí. Haga caso a mí, ok, Evelyn. No se meta al grupo. Ok, guys, see you. Dinora, usted no se puede conectar, no puede participar. Yes, teacher. No se puede meter. No. Porque aquí me parece que no, no. Es que creo que vi clic afuera de unirse y me desapareció la pantallita. Ya vamos a ver. Voy a sacar a...
Mario. Para que se tenga que contar. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. Marito me lo traje para acá porque su llama no se pudo. Este, ¿cómo se llama? Conectar. Lo que estamos haciendo, eh, usted va con su app, ¿ok? Estamos creando conversaciones así, no la tienen que escribir. But you have to use a simple past and present perfect, ¿ok? Una conversación. Ok, teacher. Ok, thank you. Me, me voy, me, ahí lo dejo. O sea, me, para que estén tranquilos, ¿ok? And you can practice. Uh, entonces vamos a hablar entre nosotros o va a haber alguien más, más también? solo ustedes dos son porque no hay Dianita que se acaba de conectar los demás no pueden participar ok, porque están ocupados oh, ok to right. teacher All right, so let's move on. Eh, to Yapa, eh, ¿cómo podemos utilizar el present perfect? Um, yo estaba más o menos, bueno, tenía una idea que hiciéramos una conversación, algo así como que se llevan los niños a un parque, juegan, después pueden ir a comer un helado y luego regresan, no sé, hacen tareas, algo de una conversación así, digamos, incluyendo pasado y presente. O no sé si tienen otra idea. Una especie de role play. Uh, for example, I went to the park, the children play basketball and ride a bicycle. After, um, we both um, ice cream. No, 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 it's my idea. And what about you? Uh, let's see. En caso de present perfect, lo utilizamos para describir acontecimientos que han pasado relativamente poco, pero que no forman parte del presente. A lo que me refiero con esto, por ejemplo, eh, el, bueno, el típico ejemplo que, que se utiliza con comida. I have eaten, eh, I don't know, guacamole in the, in the breakfast. Yo he comido guacamole durante el... Durante el desayuno, sí, desayuno. Eh, es uh -huh. un acontecimiento que forma parte del presente, pero ya, ya, qué tiempo acabó, viene haciendo algo de así como pasado. Okay. Eh, así que creo que será mucho más fácil para que una conversación solo utilizando present perfect eh, y luego utilizando el pasado. Eh, parece pues es que ya conforman parte del tiempo pasado. Uh -huh. ¿Hacemos oraciones entonces o una conversación tal cual? Acá incluso eh, me dice que creemos una conversación. Que imaginemos como que o sea, si somos dos amigos que estamos hablando. ¿no? Entonces, describiendo, por ejemplo, nuestras actividades de hoy. Mm, ya, yeah. podría utilizar esto, sí. Ok. So, all right, uh, so you have to tell me, uh, 
So, what have you done on your on your job and this day? I don't listen well. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, it's a very so again. Uh, Suepa, what have you done in your job in the state? It fue lo que hizo en este día yeah. en su trabajo. Okay. Mm, I did. Sería pasado. Mm, sí, o sea, oh. uh, the, structure, the structure of uh, present perfect is subject plus have plus verb in past participle plus complement. Okay. So uh, you you must say things related to I don't know I have eaten I have drink it uh, I have walked uh, something okay. related to that so using this mm. structure. Okay, I I I have did um allow okay I did I did elaborate check. O sea, yo elaboré cheque. I have elaborated, eh, creo, creo que okay. es. Okay, have se, pass. Eh, eh, creo que, sí, eh, sería I mm. have y I te utilizo have. un sinónimo, podría ser realized. Ok. Check. For, for the customer. Okay. Uh, what else? Mm. Ordenar sería la otra. I. I ordered. Mm. Uh, Remember, you o sea, see, como ample. Eh, ordenar amples. Eh, mm -hmm. Let's see. Ordenar, ¿cuál era el verbo ordenar? Let's see. Mm, I don't remember. Um, eh, podría ser organizar, porque estamos hablando de amples. Por lo tanto, mm -hmm. serían documentos. Eh, I have organized amples. And my job. Mm -hmm. After I have, always have. See, always have. This is the structure. Uh, the structure of okay. present perfect. I have organized um, document. All right, what else? Um, and after I have checked the email. Okay, you have checked uh, your email, all right? Yes. And right. for, for afternoon, I call, call to the AFP confía en AFP crecer por they send, send me um, estado de cuenta eh, account status ok mm, en order all right that's it uh, yeah, for the moment. Okay. And you? So, uh, okay, it's my turn. Uh, related to this day, I have eaten in a uh, much beans and avocado in my no, on my uh, breakfast. After that, I uh, I have 
walked to no from Sierra Morena to Plaza Mono in order to uh, uh, take a bus and arrive to my job. Uh, okay. After that, I remember I I have uh, checked all all my um, all my job routine and uh, something about um, I don't know. Uh, check, uh, cherish my tools. Uh, find action, action items, uh, action painting items. And mm -hmm. after that, on my lunch, I remember I have eaten again uh, avocado. And uh, let's see. Chicken and cheese. Rice. Uh, cheese sauce or, or, or any related to, to this. To the description uh, and after that uh, let's see i don't know i i, I, I consider i i have done all my penny topics on my job and that's it you have um you have dream juice uh, okay have I drink uh, juice mm, in, yes. my, in my in my lunch? Yes, in your lunch. Mm, actually, no. Uh, just no. Uh, I remember I I have drink tea, uh, tea in my yeah. lunch. Okay. Mm -hmm. And let's see. Well, okay, that's it. Me. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Okay. I sorry. <laughs> ya traje los demás. Thank you. Ok, ahí los estuve escuchando. Excelente, ok. Thank you. Mario and, and Dinora. Sorry for the others, guys. Eh, algunos se desconectaron. Perdón. Perdón, perdón, perdón. Pero podemos participar, ok. For example, uh -huh, Nora. Nora and Per. Uh -huh, share with us. Okay. Your um, conversation. Yes. Um, I we we meet with um Sylvia. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen the emotion with topic because um we talk about this seafood and Mexican food. Um she asked she she said me um have you ever tried to tacos de birria <laughs> <laughs> and i don't i i know you um, haven't yeah yes i haven't yeah. but i would like to try to try them yes yeah. yeah. they look delicious right what about silvita se fue verdad Yes, it is not here. Okay, excellent, Nora. What about um, Marcelo? Marcelo and Pear. Excuse me? Uh huh. Could you share with us? Could you share? Ah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... We talked uh, about um, uh, cars and how how was it, uh, how were uh, uh, how, how were our day and when we have to, to to travel to the to the office because uh, we we work in the same place mm -hmm. on the that or you do do you have uh that no quiere que tengamos la conversación or or quería que no 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 it's okay oh. it's okay okay Excellent. Well, 
Thank you. What about you? Graciela. Um, my conversation was with um, Edith, mm -hmm. and we talk about uh, favorite foods. Um, um, I we we have we had difficult with the present perfect and, and the. Pero más que todo con la, con, la, con la estructura de las preguntas, teacher. Eh, but I, I talked about my child. Niñez, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? Childhood. Childhood. And only that. Excellent, thank you. Diego? Hello, can you hear me? Uh huh, yes. And my partner was Marcelo, and he forgot uh, something. <laughs> we talked a little bit about something that is uh, interesting to me. And yes, he said that is something interesting, interest, interesting uh, for him too. It's about, uh, well, I asked to him if. He has ever uh, tried chat GPT. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you know what is chat GPT, but I I was a little bit scared about that because I like to to code, but I was a little bit nervous because it's an AI program. And if you say uh, code an app in Python to do something. Uh, the program do it and it's a little bit scared to me but at the same time it's really interesting to play with it and we we talk about um, yeah about uh, cars because <laughs> I, I, I uh, he said that he have a car and he go to the office on, on car and I ask him if, uh, well, I, I ask, have you ever uh, have an accident when you go to the office? And he said, no, because he's uh, really uh, careful when he's on the street. And yeah, that's it, I think. Excellent, thank you. Let's see, Alejandro. Uh, nosotros hicimos un diálogo. We, ¿Quiere practicar? Démoslo. Ok. It's Ana. Uh, ¿Here? Yes. yes. Ah, ok. Hi, Ana. ¿Cómo estás? Hi, but right now I am sick. Really? What do you have? I have flu, but I feel better that last week. Ale, have you ever take a big pill or drink medicine? Yes. When I have flu, I always took a big pill. Oh, thank you. I am going to buy someone tomorrow. And Only. that's it. Yeah. Only. Excellent, guys. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Nice. Let's see, Silvita, do you remember about your conversation? Nora shared with us some. Yes, teacher, I remember. But you can share it. Uh, okay. uh, uh, Nora uh, told me something about uh, herself. Mm -hmm. For example, he told me that uh, she lived with her sister, her mom, uh, she told me that her mom is sick and she say uh, that, uh, that she is studying in youth university. She have two pets and she told me about 
uh, her favorite food. Uh, she say uh, that her favorite food is uh, Mexican food. Uh, uh, but uh, your favorite place is in Nora Grill because she likes to cook uh, this, this uh, uh, type of food. And she asked me if I uh, sometime I, I travel to mm -hmm. you to you say and I to, told her yes uh, some 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 time only that I remember excellent thank you uh -huh. someone else edit hello hello teacher hello <clears throat> hello I was with Graciela. Mm -hmm. uh, we were talking about um, uh, daily routines and about food and about uh, hair. How do you say infancia? Childhood. Ch childhood. Mm -hmm. um, for example, she asked, asked to me uh, this question. Have you eaten seafood using present simple? Pre present oh, perfect. Present perfect. Oh, okay. Have Have you eaten seafood? Uh -huh. Is correct? Yeah. Or not? Have you eaten? Yes. And my my answer was in simple past. Uh -huh. I I ate seafood yesterday because I I were I was to the beach with my family. Or I went. I went to the beach with my uh, family. Excellent. Sorry, I went to the beach. Sorry. Okay, excellent guys. A clap for you for everybody. Okay, thank you for your participation. Now let's do. Okay, let's continue with, let's see, ¿dónde está esto? Me equivoqué. No me encuentro, ya quiero compartir, pero a mí también quiero ver. Aquí está. Okay, we have sequence, sequence adverbs, okay? Let's see this video. Hello everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe how to prepare food using sequence adverbs. For example, you'll be able to take a recipe written on a piece of paper and be able to explain it. In order to illustrate this idea, let me play an audio program so that you can see how this topic is used. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan, then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. I love this snack. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great with chips. 
A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half, then toast it. After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. Now let me get started by explaining what sequenced adverbs are. Ahí está lista, ok. Sería first, then, next, after that, and finally, ok. Esos son los que podemos utilizar y se puede utilizar para, para qué, para recipes, para recetas, no solo para eso, ¿verdad? Sino que lo podemos utilizar en diferentes formas. Para que tengamos first, then, next, after that, and finally, ¿ok? Topic is quite simple. Sequence adverbs are words that will allow you to explain processes to others. In this case, what we want to do is explain food recipes. Para hablar sobre procesos. Puede ser incluso dentro de una presentación que nosotros tengamos. But you can explain any other process using sequence adverbs. So the sequence adverbs that we will cover in this lesson are first, then, next, after that, finally. Similar to the audio program, in this case, we can see that there is a recipe. So on the top, we see the recipe on a sheet of paper, right? We see three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, uh, and we want that to be melted. And what we want to do is we want to be able to take this recipe and then we want to use sequence adverbs to explain it, right? And so we use the first one first, mix the peanut butter and mashed potato together. Then we use another sequence adverb, we use then, lightly toast the slice of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. And finally, fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. And what we basically did was that we organized our ideas and we explained, in this case, the food recipe. We use sequence adverbs to do this. So as I mentioned, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and then we use finally. And um, what I would like to point out here is that all of these words are synonyms. What this means is they're the same word, right? They mean exactly the same thing. And the reason that we want to use different words is because we don't want to sound too repetitive. So, for example, we don't want to express this food recipe in the following way. First, mix the peanut butter and banana together. Then, toast the slices of bread. Then, spread the mixture on the toast then put the sandwich in a pan with butter, then try the sandwich until it's brown on both sides. We don't want to do that, so therefore we use different words to explain. And what I would like to point out when talking about this topic is that first, should always come at the beginning whenever we want to explain some sort of process or we want to give some sort of recipe. Finally, should always come at the very end, so that should be your concluding uh, step. Then, next. El, el, el first siempre va al principio, ¿verdad? Eso sí no cambia, ¿ok? Y en finally. Y ya mientras que el then, next, and after that, esos son intercambiables, ¿ok? And after that are interchangeable. This means that you can uh, start with first mix the peanut butter and banana together. Next, toast the slices of bread. After that, so they could be interchangeable. And there's no rule that says that uh, then needs to come after first. You can use those three interchangeably. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your favorite food recipe. And I want you to write down all the ingredients that you're going to need. So, for example, we have, in this case, three tablespoons of peanut butter, one banana mash, two 
slices bread, two tablespoons butter, and we want that to be melted. And then you use um, those um, sequenced adverbs in order to explain your idea. So for example, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and we use finally. So I would like for you to do something similar, but explaining your favorite food recipe. Okay, as you can see there, okay, the sequence adverbs that are first, next, then, and after that. And the last one, finally, okay? Finally. <clears throat> let's do something, okay? And let's make a recipe, um, but a short recipe, okay? <clears throat> A easy recipe, okay? You have to use the five sequence adverbs. Y me, si quieren, le escriben en el chat aquí. Rapidito, ya tenemos diez minutos, nueve. <clears throat> Sorry, teacher, what do we have to do? Okay, you have to, to write a recipe. A uh, recipe. Ajá, y tiene que, que usar los, las cinco, este, sequence adverbs. First, oh. after that, next, then, and finally. Por ejemplo, un licuado, o a shake, okay, algo sencillo, okay? Uh, okay, okay, okay. You stole my idea. <laughs> okay, no, no se preocupe.
Teacher, I have a, I have a question. Tell me, Diego. Uh, in which cases we can use into? Yes. But in which cases uh, I can use it? Into. Mm -hmm. Because I want to say something like, mm -hmm. uh, take uh, your favorite dip and spirit it into a toast, for example. I don't know if I can use it in that way. Quiero ver qué otro puede usar. Puede usar into. Sí. No, porque into es si ya le, like. le, le, le metiera en medio. Ajá. No, creo que quizás son. On, oh, ok. Sobre, ¿verdad? Yo creo que yes. eso nos queda. Quiero ver. Oh, uh -huh. I'm sorry. Ay, Dios. Dice, first of you, boy. No me la copió y la pegó, va, Marito. No voy a ser así. Mentira. Vamos a ver. First of all, you must boil potatoes with water when potato was boiled. Mm -hmm. You need to peel the potatoes after that mash potatoes before, for example. After that, you can put mesh. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Fried tortilla, que rico. Okay. Silvita, what the Excellent. First, you need to eat the water. Next, put good coffee. After that, add the sugar. And finally, add the word hat and put sugar to your excellent. Thank you. Sandwich with butter. First, just two bread slices, then add butter and mustard. Delicious. After that, add cheese and slice jam. Finally, just mm, delicious. Thank you, guys. Okay, lemonade. First is good with lemon, then I put water in a glass. Excellent, thank you. Graciela. Marcelo, first I brought to cook the chicken with the water, then when the chicken is cooked, and then I prepare with seasoning, like salt, black pepper, and after that I fill up the water. Okay, excellent. Okay, guys, if you finish, eh, tienen la libertad de irse, ¿verdad? Los que ya terminaron, si no, pues pueden quedarse. Thank you, teacher. See you. Okay, see you tomorrow. Y pues, si los que no han terminado y se sienten cansaditos, me lo entregan mañana. Ok. See you tomorrow, teacher. Sí, bye bye.
Thank you for me, no, 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 Okay, excellent. See you. See you, Mario. Bye. Take care. Okay. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Hola. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Aquí sí, o no se preocupen. <laughs> No, I just want to say hello. To ah, hello, hello, it's yeah. me. <laughs> Ana Salvadoria dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I already sent mine, but. Okay. Well. Okay, okay. But I had uh, first at all. <laughs> Okay. What about you, Alvaro? Hello, teacher, aquí de oyente, que la verdad no logré captar mucho, pero no, acabo vale. de llegar de, de, trabajar. de trabajar. Sí, correcto. Vale, pero eso sí. está fácil, por lo menos, Álvaro, esos son los sequence uh, adverbs, que son los adverbios de secuencia. Por ejemplo, <coughs> cuando usted habla de, <coughs> digamos, de un proceso o de una receta, dice first, primero, luego... Después, sí, esos son los que usamos. Una story. First, ajá, uh -huh, first, eh, next, then, after that, and finally. Finalmente, a eso se refiere. Solo son cinco, ¿ok? Ok, teacher, ok. Ok. ¿Me van a entregar, guys, o mañana? Así nos vemos tomorrow, ¿ok? No quiero tener... No, my needs on the chat. On the chat. Sí, sí. ¿A dónde está? Yo eh, mañana. Yo no lo veo. Well, well, let me copy and paste again. Eh, no sé. Ok. Here. You can say it. ¿Qué dice? Pero no I sent it before Suyapa. No me aparece. No sé por qué aparece el de Marcelo, el de Graciela. Mm. Qué raro. El de Suyapa. Ok. Let me open a WhatsApp web. Ahí lo mandó. No, uh, here, in this chat. No, no aparece. Qué raro. What's up? What? Okay. <laughs> no, no parece me, mejor. El de Carlos me acaba de caer. <clears throat> okay. Prepare, preparing, okay, preparing some experts, place, social, social, on the point, then I, okay, excellent, Carlos, ahí hubiese puesto next, pero está muy bien, excellent, thank you. There he is, teacher, in what's up? Ahora sí, okay. first of all, take a wrap tortilla rapidita, then take chipotle dip and spread it on the wrap, let's take some, Fried chicken mm -hmm. and so. 
Ok. Excellent, Diego. Ok. Ok, Thank teacher. You. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Carlitos and Álvaro. Bye bye, guys. Take care. Goodbye, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. Adiós. Bye.